Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. We are at the official GitHub page for Accessible and we have a new version available, version 5.0 at the time of making this video. In this video, we will take a look at the new features and changes. Accessible is completely free and you can use it to browse the file system and extract files all without a jailbreak on iOS 15.0 all the way through iOS 18.3.2. Now, if you check out the releases, we have the latest release here, version 5.0. We have new features with a full rewrite, which is more polished and intuitive. We have a new file system browser experience. We have the new device reports feature, which will show you details of your device, which is not usually found in settings. We have the new update checker so that when a new version comes out, you can easily update it. And we have the new reset button if you ever want to reset accessible. Now let's get to the on device experience of accessible's latest version. As you can see, I am not jailbroken. To begin, you will need this shortcuts app. By default, it is there. If you have deleted it, you can easily reinstall it using the official app store. Simply search for it and install it. Simply head to Safari and go to the official GitHub page for accessible. Scroll down to the latest release available. Open it, scroll all the way down and you will see this dot shortcut file for accessible's latest version. Simply tap on it, download, hit on downloads, tap on it and then simply add this shortcut. Then hit on done. Open the shortcut, allow, hit on OK, and you will see this splash screen. Hit on Done, hit on OK again, and you will see this menu here. Browse file system, favorites, tools, settings, and exit. If you hit on Browse file system, you can browse the file system. Let's go to Applications. Let's go to Subdirectory. And likewise, you can easily browse the subdirectory. You also have the option to search in favorites. You can add your favorite directory, which you browse often. In tools, you have the option for internal apps to browse and run them. And you have the new device report feature. You can see the device report of your device with detailed information, and it shows what's disabled, what's enabled, and so on. You can also save this report, simply browse, hit open so that in case if you want to share it in internal apps you can browse and run all applications all right or only the common applications now to run them you can simply hit it and then hit open app you can even browse its folder if you check out settings we have the option to toggle updates and to check for updates for accessible and you can also reset accessible using this reset shortcut and you have support if you want to ask something or if you need help that's all for accessible 5.0 if you still have questions, please ask the comment section and I will reply you as soon as possible. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye and take care.